What's going on, folks? Will Stewart here with Will Stewart 365, and today we are back with another unboxing and first impressions. Today we are hitting another blue. Been doing a lot of blues lately. I'm getting the blue aspect of it. We're gonna do we'd be doing a blue showdown, so I had I had to get all the big boys in the big boy blues. I don't know why I'm talking like that, but the blues are in. Why Oda Parfum? And the, we got the 60 mil here on this one. Can't remember how much I paid for it. It was around $100, maybe $110, $120. We've got this one in today, so we're going to be opening this one up and seeing if this fragrance smashes the box. Thanks for coming back to the channel, guys. And thank you very much for hitting that subscribe button, the like button, comment down below. I've really appreciated all the love you guys have been showing the channel recently. And today we are going to be unboxing and impressioning, firstly, our first impressions of YSOY, Eau de Parfum in the house of Yves Saint Laurent. So let's cut this bad boy open. This one is, so I, I don't like it when they do this flap in the back. Personally, so you got package here, you got the box, and you got the, you know, ingredient list, house information, hazard stuff, all that stuff, barcode on the back. On the bottom, you do, it looks like you have a batch code that's kind of pressed into the bottom of the box there, and some other information as well. You've got a little QR code on the right, and you've got a website information on the back. I don't like it when they do this flat because I like to leave the plastic on the box to kind of keep it, protect it, do whatever. I don't know why. Call me, call me a weirdo. That's fine. But at least this way, you know, you get to hear the, the crinkle crinkle of the wrapper as I take it off because you can't cut this off. Once you cut it, it just, it just starts to fall away, but it's off now. Here's the box. You do get like a matte finish. It does look kind of cool actually without the wrapper on there. Matte navy blue, with YSY in black and silver on the front. And you can see that batch code better down there. And it says box 38X102W is what it says on the bottom there. Maybe it'll zoom in close enough that you can see it. 102W. That's the batch code that they got printed on the bottom here. Nothing on the under flap, which is a little bit disappointing, right? You think for the price, you're gonna get a little better presentation for that. You do get the little safety clip here on the, or the packaging on the buffer side, the perforated cardboard. Pulling out the bottle here, I did lift this by the cap. So you've got a silver Yves Saint Laurent Y that wraps around to the side of the bottle. It does have a little indent in there as well, which is kind of cool. There's a gradient to the bottle, so black at the top to almost like a grayish blue at the base there. And you can kind of see that in the as I pass it past the microphone. And the juice looks to be blue. Believe it or not, it's a blue. It seems like a plastic cap that kind of makes some creaky noises. Not a magnetic cap. It is plastic, which is disappointing. I think you would want a better cap on this. It is fairly light as well. It's not overly light, but it is kind of light. It does click into place very nicely. You can lift it up by the lid, obviously. I just did that earlier. But let's take a look. Let's grab a test strip, take a look and smell this puppy. Let's see what we got with it. The atomizer, the head of the atomizer is pointed off to the side. It does look maybe intentional because it is fairly well centered on the side there. So I don't know if that's exactly what they're trying to do. I always like to point mine to the front. So I have shifted it myself. Let's grab a handy dandy test strip, waste a few sprays here and see if you guys think anything about it. Fairly good atomizer. Sweet. Apple juice, apple. Apple juice, apple. I like this. To be honest with you, Ambroxan, apple, maybe lavender iris, something along oris, you know, florals in that vein. I prefer this over Blue de Chanel and Dior Sauvage. This for me is better, almost to Armani Code levels. Armani, Armani Code Parfum levels. Let's grab that one and compare it, just, just for fun. So we got the Armani Code Parfum here. Again, magnetic cap bonus right off the top on that one. Let's grab a test strip. I'm already wearing fragrance right now, so I can't put it on skin. We'll put four sprays over here, okay way sweeter, way soapier, way powderier, just immediately off the bat. So the YSLY EDP, 
fresher, like it's getting a little bit mellier now. So, or maybe it's a lavender mixing with an apple. Yeah, so Armani coat, not even close. Parfum, completely different scent. Way, way soap, way, pow way more powdery, way sweeter. It does have fresh vibes to it. Like it's not Diorum intense, like it's not that way. But like I said, it's for me, this would be like spring fall. Versace Eros-esque type of vibes, maybe. Different smell, but I'm talking like that, that level of sweetness. Whereas the YSLY EDP is more summer freshy, right? But sweet. So let me pair this up with, with Percival from Parfums de Marley. Let's see what vibes we're getting there. So grabbing the Parfums de Marley, Percival, we'll grab a test strip here. We'll waste a few sprays, four sprays on that. Yeah, so they're, they're different. Like these aren't the same. So I'm not, I'm not comparing these of being clones of each other or in the same vibe, right? They're both blue fragrances. They're both fresh. And the sweetness, apple juice, man. YSLY smells like a light Ambroxan with apple juice and, and, and a purple floral. That's what, it smell, that's what it smells like. I like it. Like I, I'm, I would wear this over both Dior Sauvage and Blue De Chanel for me. Percival is gonna be a fresher. It's sweet. Like there's, there's an apple note in Percival as well, I do believe. But you're getting more of that Ambroxan, more lavender, a sweeter, ap more apple juice. So take Percival and add apple juice to it. Mix it with some apple juice and you're gonna get close to the YEDP. I, I like it. I like it. Just off first impressions in the opening, I'm gonna give this one a nine. I don't, I, have, I haven't smelt the intense version of the EDP, but a lot of people take say that it's taking away the, the, the sweetness. So maybe you're gonna get closer to that Percival smell with the intense. I, I like the apple juice vibe on the EDP. And from what I've heard, this one's got a longevity projection of like 10 to 12 hours. So that's good. I, I like I like it. I like it. I don't remember what rating I gave Percival. I like Percival as well. So if I had to choose, if, I, if you want me to pick a top four out of this collection here, Dior Sauvage, Blue de Chanel, Parfum Somali Percival, YSLY, to my untrained amateur nose. One, two, three. That may be sacrilege to some of you. I'm wearing Blue de Chanel on my arm here, and I'm wearing Dior Sauvage on this arm here. YSLY, Percival, Blue de Chanel, Dior Sauvage. They're all good, right? So every one of these is above seven and a half. Seven and a half, eight. Eight and a half on the Percival, nine on the YSL EDP. Folks, I think this one is great. I think this one's worth it. It's popular for a reason. This one I think lives up to the hype for me personally and what I personally enjoy. I like sweet, right? But this is a freshy tart. It's sweet with a sharpness in the, cause in the apple juice, right? That citric, that acidic pop the apple juice has is on here. Let's take a look at the notes. I haven't even looked at the notes yet. Let's take a look at the notes. So only a 7.4 on Parfumo. That is surprising. Look, YSL, you put a magnetic cap on this bottle and I think you've got yourself a real winner. The plastic's a little bit disappointing for especially as much as this costs, but I like your fragrance more. It's fresh, it's sweet, and it's an apple juice, and I really like apple notes. Let's take a look at the notes. Okay, so apple. Right in the top there, you got apple, bergamot, ginger, a lemmy resin, and aldehydes, right? So an aldehydic apple, it really smells like apple juice to me, right? And it's showing a green apple in the picture, but I don't, it doesn't say green apple in the notes, but it does kind of have that green apple acidity to it, right, in that top. So in the middle, you got sage, juniper berry, lavender, okay, geranium absolute, all right, so geranium and lavender, those are purple florals, right? Opernide, which I have no idea what that is, but it's trademark. Frankincense, vetiver, and tonka bean, yeah. So you're getting that ginger. I really like ginger. So ginger in top notes for me, I, I always enjoy. I always enjoy the ginger. We're gonna hit the heart on this one because I have it now, and I like it. I like it. That's the Percival. I like it, boys and girls. I like it. Nine, nine for me. Top of the charts. Let me know what you think down below. Out of these four, put down the comments down below. Which one of these four do you prefer? Percival, Y, Sauvage, Blue de Chanel. 
Now, these aren't all interchangeable. They have differences from each other, right? But they're all kind of blue fragrances, right? From that aren't cheap, they're expensive, right? You're talking 200 plus on this one, even on sale, like if it's a 45% off sale, you're talking 135, 140 for this size and the 75 mil. This one's 120, 130 for the 60 mil on this. You know, this one's 100 and 110, 120 for the 60 mil on this one. You know, this with tester here in the 100 mil was 140. So you're talking about what, what I've paid for them is all fairly equivalent. And they're from, they're supposed to be high quality, right? These are premium designer brands, right? YSOY, Dior Sauvage, Blue de Chanel, right? You've got Parfums de Mali, which is like a designer S type of a niche brand, right? High quality, quality perfume house. People may say I'm stupid, but I don't really care because I, I go off by what I smell. That's the Amarni Code one, and that's nothing like, like these. Not the same vibe at all. I'm really digging it. I really am. Best one for me. You guys, let me know down in the comments below which one you like. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. See you guys next time. Later. I'm out of here. Peace.